Hi, uh, my name is Melissa Youngbluth. I am the gallery director for Moorhead State University as well as teach within the art department. We're here today at the Kentucky Folk Art Center. Um, we're wanting to kick start a little mini series where we introduce some pieces from the collection. So today being that it's Halloween week, which is my favorite week of the year, we're gonna talk about some of the spookier pieces that we found um, in the collection in the back. So we'll be a little bit Halloween-y about it. We have this beautiful drawing of half of a woman and half of her skeletal figure. And then if we walk over here, we've got this painting, um, which is actually a painting about war, but it's got some of those spooky elements in it. It's got some skulls and it's got some zombified human beings in there. So I think it's, it's a little bit on the creepy side. And then we've got an assortment of different um, 3D art objects. So I pulled out an assortment of pieces. We've got your typical spooky black cat. Um, and then we've also got a zombie, some bats, and a witch. Something that is a common denominator as a material that folk artists like to use are gourds and loofahs. Um, so I've got a little loofah with me here today that has not been turned into art like a few of these pieces. Some of you might recognize them. It's a natural object. It grows within a pod and then you use these to bathe with basically. So if you've not used a loofah, they're awesome for people with dry or rough skin. <laughs> um, so a few of these pieces are made with gourds. This beautiful witch here is on a gourd and is wearing, donning a gourd on her head. Um, and then we have this kind of zombie guy who is made out of a gourd and a loofah. So if we turn him over, this green shiny part is the gourd. And then this is a really, really long specific type of loofah. And so he's just been painted given some awesome hair, some wig, and some amazing eyelashes. A little zombie gourd loofah guy. But the pieces that I wanted to talk most about are these three little loofah bats that are here. I'm gonna hold one. Um, so their bodies are made of loofah and then painted black, but also their wings are loofah that's been cut and splayed open. The eyes are little beads that have been painted and the teeth are little twigs or sticks that have been painted as well. Um, so I personally just really like bats. I think they're kind of cute and goofy in real life as well. They're kind of seen as these demon little creatures, kind of scary, blood sucking, but they're actually not. They're kind of cute and cuddly for the most part. Um, so there's about, I think a thousand different species of bats worldwide, 45 in the United States and roughly 15 in the state of Kentucky itself, um, which is kind of surprising because we don't really see them very often because they're night creatures. Um, so a few fun facts about bats is that because they're so ubiquitous worldwide, they live everywhere except for the North Pole and the South Pole. They can't live in those extreme temperatures but everywhere else they thrive. And in some parts of the world, they're considered good luck or good omen creatures, whereas in other parts of the world, they're considered bad luck. Um, in Japan, they kind of have both. Like some parts of Japan consider them a bad omen, like death is coming if you see a bat, but other parts of Japan associate them with luck. If you see a bat, luck is coming your way, like something good is gonna happen. In the Celtic regions, they come out for celebrations at bonfires. Often Celtic people will have feasts and they'll create a large bonfire, which is like a triangular uh, structure made out of wood that they set ablaze and they feast and they eat. And this is a way to invite the Celtic bats to come and feast and eat around the bonfire as well because the light draws the bugs and the bats want to have the bugs to feast on. So they are celebratory in some parts of the world as well. Um, so those are some fun facts about bats. And then I just wanted to show you kind of like a backside of the piece so you can see the loofah here where the paint has been kind of worn through. But I just think they're so freaking cute. And these are some of the Halloween-y type pieces we have here in the Kentucky Folk Art Collection. Thank you for watching.